guys, so today I'm going to be doing something about something that's going to hopefully help you and help me when I watch it back. I'm going to be talking about uni versus gap year. So I'll split it up into two sections. First of all, you need to think about is university right for you? So the course you're looking at, is that one right for you? Make sure that you've looked into all the individual modules that are available on the site and if they aren't, there should be an email that's like available on the website of the university to contact them with any questions that you might have. Don't settle for less than the best. See if you can take a better course at a place with a stronger outcome. Yes, you may love the place that you've got your heart set on, but if you're not going to get the best outcome out of that place, then you're spending, say, 9 or 12 grand a year at somewhere that you may not get the outcome you want. So, satisfied isn't really good enough, so make sure you're checking the uni stats, and I'll put all of the links in the description box below. Open days. I can't stress enough that you really need to go to open days. You can mingle with all the students and like the lecturers and people that are actually going to audition there and you might get ideas to go to other places or interview if you're not in the performing arts field and you'll really get a sense of what you're going to experience for the next few years of your life. You really need to get the idea of the area that you're going to be in and not just the campus. So make sure you go and visit the, you know, the town or the city and get a feel of where you're going to be staying. Talk to the students that are going to be around you and already in their second or third year and get an idea of what the course really has going for you. Not just what the modules are, but like the extracurriculum things um, outside of your course or even that are available that aren't listed on the course as well. And they can really tell you what kind of things that you'll, you know, know that are available there and the outcome after because then they'll know people that have been in their third year that they've talked to. You can find them via Facebook on the Freshers pages or via Twitter, just type in you know the area or the university or the academy. You can get tons and tons of information. I, I haven't met one person online that hasn't been willing to tell me something about a university or an academy and they've always been like buzzing to tell me something about it. If you're a performing arts student, you may be stuck with the dilemma of whether you want to go to an academy or a university. So that is most likely going to be a personal decision, whether it's down to offers or whether you're or whether you're not comfortable going into a city, or it could be a money thing. So this is where a gap year could suit you to save up and to gain some independence. I personally would recommend going to an academy purely because it's straight acting or dancing or singing and you're just consumed with that instead of having different courses around you so you are consumed with what you would be consumed with in the industry and you have professionals around you constantly and most likely the academy will have industry links like an academy based agency that you can be signed to afterward or during which wouldn't necessarily guarantee you work but you're higher likely to get work in some senses. Although, off your own back, if you work hard enough, you can get work. Then you have to ask yourself, are you ready to leave home? Gotta wash your clothes, cook your own food, go shopping for yourself. Buy things that you've never had to buy for yourself before, like Febreze, non-bio detergent. All these kinds of things that you've never had to buy before, because they've always been accessible to you from your mom. So you just have to ask yourself, are you ready, are you prepared, and are you independent and adult enough, mature enough to do that for yourself, and will you be almost too homesick to concentrate on your work? So that's a massive factor. So you may want to have a gap year. There are so many opportunities with gap years. You could extend your current course from, from a college course onto a HE course, which is either a one-year university degree or a two-year H&D degree or you could take a step in a new direction and take a whole different course so you have opportunities to go to university in a different degree or your current direction you could get a job at the same time or just completely focus on a job and take outward classes and something else or your current major. You could volunteer for charities, you could help out shelters, you could do volunteering for any charity you want. You get so many things on your current CV to build up for universities or academies when you're ready. Or you could actively start trying to build up a career in your 
field that you want to be in. I mean, I don't know if you can do that in medicine, if you wanted to go and train in medicine. That probably wouldn't work. Unless you could do a first aiding course. That could work. But then again, if you wanted to, like, be a nurse and take blood, I don't know how that would work if you just rolled up and started taking blood. Unless you could, like, do a mini course and that was actually available, look it up. But for, like, dancers, do, like, loads of dancing courses, like, get some tap lessons, jazz, ballet, all that kind of stuff. And, like, vocal coaching, get some grades in that, because that'll go to, like, UCAS points, ridiculous UCAS points, if you can get to a grade 8. Some guitar lessons, that kind of thing. I mean, self-taught looks amazing, but if you can get grades, then... That'll look great too. Or you could use something completely different. There are so many opportunities, like Camp America, Gapyear.com, and you could travel the world. And you could be teaching English to kids out in Africa, or nannying, or teaching your own skills, like performing arts, in another country. There are many options. And there's me sitting here hoping this video will help me decide, and I'm clueless myself. So I'm hoping that I've helped at least one of you out there decide what you want to do because I don't know myself. What you need to ask yourself is, if you're in the dilemma of GAP or uni or academy, why have you chose to apply or go to uni? Are you doing this because you think you'll get a job at the end of it? Are you doing this because your friend is going to the same uni? Are your parents forcing you to go? What is your reason to go? If you're going and it's going to make you happy, then do it. If it's not going to make you happy and you're not happy at the idea of going, then have a gap year and enjoy life. Thank you for watching guys. Click the like button if you enjoyed this and it's helped you in any way at all. Leave a comment on what you think about this and what your views are on this. And click that subscribe button so you can see my new videos every week. See you next time guys. Bye!